I'm Irene and I'm 15 years old. My name is Andrew David Hernandez, 15. My name is Marisa and I'm 15 years old. I'm Matthews, I'm 15 years old. How old were you when the pandemic started? I was 13 when the pandemic started. 14, 13, around 13. Uh, I was 13. I was 13 years old when the, when the pandemic started. It was two years ago. What do you feel about online school? Um, at first, I feel like online school is a really efficient way of um, studying because of the pandemic that is happening. It's like kind of convenient. I guess online school is a very efficient system for the students to learn at home. You can just stay at home and but after quite a long time, I find online school quite struggling. It was very difficult for me because I have a lot of protection problems. So I cannot hear the teachers well. Teachers can't observe what the students do at home, so it can decrease their concentration. Somehow we cannot meet our friends and also teachers. We cannot have this face-to-face -face learning, so it's a bit difficult for me. How does online school affect you physically and mentally? Um, mentally, I tend to feel quite lonely because I cannot meet my friends. I cannot hang out with them. I feel very lonely because I'm the only child and I don't have siblings. Uh, it's kind of dirty because, because we should stay at home. Uh, during online school and during quarantine, I lacked of exercise and I lacked Physical activities. I became unhealthy because I can't go anywhere, so I exercise less than before. Uh, physically, it doesn't affect me that much. Does the pandemic affect your social relations or interactions? Um, yes. Well, most likely. Yes, of course. Most people will be affected by it because uh, they cannot go outside. I cannot um, meet a lot of people during this pandemic because of the lockdowns. I cannot go outside, so how I interact with people is quite different than before. So it's like a little bit awkward talking with new people. Since I didn't meet people for months, so every time I interact with someone new or uh, my peers, it becomes kind of awkward. How about your scores? Are they affected? My scores is decreased. Not pretty I kind of uh, blurred out during lessons and I didn't focus, so my scores were affected. In the beginning, yes, but as the time goes by, I started to adapt to this online learning. I push myself to learn more so I can get better scores. But now I get used to it, so my scores are getting better. With the sudden spread of the deadly virus all across the world, this has led to a dramatic loss of human lives. Furthermore, with only a small amount of information known about the virus, this presents an extraordinary challenge to public health organizations, the economy, and the world itself. The coronavirus has a great impact on the world. Government all around the world impose a new set of mandatory rules such as washing hands frequently, wearing masks, and keeping distance with other people. Because of its widespread, people have also been quarantined to prevent the virus from further spread. However, these new rules and measures have detrimental consequences on the mental health of the general population worldwide. Bereavement, isolation, loss of income, and fear are triggering mental health conditions or exacerbating existing ones. Many people, especially teenagers or adolescents, may be facing increased levels of alcohol and drug use, insomnia, and anxiety. They are able to handle things such as online schools, lockdowns, as these things cause them have less social interaction and relations. Not being able to meet friends and their peers make them feel lonely and isolated, worsening their mental conditions. Now that we've talked about the consequences of the pandemic on our mental health, we should learn how to deal with them. 
We should keep active through doing physical activities, stay hydrated, eat well, and keep in touch with your peers and families too. And most importantly, we should talk about our feelings to a therapist or a friend or family member and we should take a break and focus on ourselves. This pandemic has given us a break from the outside world for us to rest, heal, and start a new chapter in our lives. From this break, we can discover more and more about ourselves and practice our skills. During this pandemic, we have a great chance to grow and change ourselves. Even though change is a difficult thing, it is a task that we must overcome in order to grow and strive on. We need to learn to accept the reality and face the challenges. This pandemic taught us to change the way we look at things and always think positively. Growth is never by mere chance, it is by forces working together. Thank you for watching this video. Number three. Somewhere in this hip hop soul community, was born three. They stubbed me, and that's a magic number. What does it all mean? Difficult.